I'll give you a real quick overview. So this was something we were demoing a while ago. So all this skin, all this skin that was painted on him was, ooh, do I still have that? Let's go to texture, import, poly paint head. Yeah, so you can bring in texture images. You can load in like this one here and then go to texture, select it, add to spotlight. And uh, with also the new ZBrush that they were, they were showing some new features on Friday. If you go to their channel, they now have uh, under the draw menu, you'll have actual camera settings. So you can match your focal, focal length in ZBrush to whatever was in your uh, camera. You can go there here, you can rotate this, you can scale it, um, you can even warp it and liquefy it if you want to, but when you hit Z, let's go ahead and dumb that down a little bit. I'm gonna drop that opacity down a little bit. You can go through here and you can match up your model. And again, use your draw menu and go through here and change the angle of view to kind of match, you know, whatever your camera view was. And then you can, uh, you know, go into standard brush, turn on RGB, it's up to 100. And now you can simply just paint your skin through. And if you have X symmetry turned on, it will paint symmetrically on your object there. So let's go through and paint skin right onto your model. Uh, and then, yeah, if this thing does have UVs, you can go down here to texture map. You can say create new from poly paint, and then it'll go ahead and throw your poly paint right into a texture map. You can export that. Also under Z plugin, there's the multi-map exporter. You can bake your poly paint, your cavity, your normals, your AO using this and export it. So, yes. And then, uh, yeah, Substance Painter is what I'll use for texturing 99% of the time.